Greetings everybody. Welcome to G4G on YouTube. Today we're here in the battle for Azeroth beta as we begin to get closer to battle for Azeroth live release, which will be on August 14th. So we are looking at a mob called Wild Tusk. So the reason why I'm doing this video is because for hunters, you may want to pick up Wild Tusk as he is a river beast with a unique skin. So if you look at that river beast over there, or we look at these pools, uh, you'll notice they just kind of look like giant fat hippos. You you have the calves, which if you beast lure these guys, they cannot be tamed. If you look at a muddy river beast, I must get closer. have to get a little bit closer, says the orc. A muddy river beast is tameable. A diet of bread, fungus, and fruit, tamed abilities, gruesome bite, bite, dash, and growl. But now if you come over here and take a look at Wild Tusk, who is the uh, objective of a quest called He's Gone Mad, which I do believe comes over from uh, Nezingwary's Trek, Wild Tusk is actually a quest mob, although when you probably first encounter him, you'll have likely wandered up to him from the south um and seen him just as you were kind of following along so the easiest way to get here is to go to the scale trader post which is right up that cliff you can see that little statue there if you fall down and hug the cliff you'll take a little bit of damage and you'll land and wild tusk will be right here if you beast lure him You'll again get notified that you are out of range. He is tameable. Bread fungus fruit for the diet. Gruesome bite, bite, dash, and growl. And you'll see that I have already tamed him in an earlier session. He is my pet called Fatso. Right over here. And Wild Tusk is unique in the fact that he is um, kind of like the wolf with the sword in its head that I don't think is tameable in that form anymore. You can see that Fatso over here retains the spears uh, in his side. They don't quite, the, like the skin pulses through the spear a little bit. So the spears are anchored in the body rather than on the skin. So as this uh, river beast hippo moves, it like consumes the spear and retracts from it. You'll see the scarred hide. And um, the tusks in front, a lot of detail on this guy. So here's a hunter, probably going to kill it for a quest. They don't seem to be uh, taming it at all. It's kind of a obnoxious fight, but not too bad. And uh, the whole story is a uh, fatso or. Um, Wild Tusk actually has a bit of story behind it, or potentially her. It apparently was so big and so skilled that all of these spears and all of these scars are from hunters trying to kill the beast, but it was too big and too powerful to um, be put down. And now in its old age, it's actually beginning to slow down a little bit. And while it does still... Uh, rebuff hunters a little bit it has been injured to the point where it's beginning to suffer so the quest has you go and just put the old lady down so she's out of her misery finally here's her cave nothing particularly uh, interesting back here other than some more muddy river beasts and some calves this does resemble another cave where we you go into the cave and a rare is there um, I do seem to be outside enough to mount and get out of here, so we're just going to run by her. So there's, as you can see, she's got a pretty fast respawn timer. This area is known as the Tusk Pools. You can see we are by the bee in uh, Talgarub. We are by some brontosaurs and everything. So if you want to look at some dire horns, real quick, we'll just be slower one of these cannot be tamed cannot be tamed I'm not even gonna bother with the Brutus or I can tell you they cannot be tamed 
These venomous Dimetrodons are the objective of a quest. And these are tameable. Bite, Grievous Bite, Dash, Growl. Um, sort of like the way bears were in Vanilla WoW. They're a trash can. They eat anything. Meat, fish, fungus, fruit, raw meat, raw fish. Um, of course, feeding pets does not mean the same thing that it used to when you had to feed pets to keep them happy. Or they would run away. I accidentally had one of my more... Uh, here's the rubber banding. So if you're playing the beta at the moment, there's a lot of rubber banding going on in this area. So north of the scale trader post going up to Nezingwary, you will just... Uh, it would see it happened again. Um, it's almost acting like there's maintenance in an area and they don't want you going there but that's not actually the case because the rubber banding is only in a minor area and you can simply walk around it and get to the area you want to go. You just have to not trigger uh, the special port backs. Don't know what's up with that. Um, so here are the Tortolans. They're basically turtle people. If there's one of them named after one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I think I'm going to punch somebody. Uh, let me see if I've got any other interesting pets over here that I've come across. I've run into a few that are just straight up interesting, but I don't think I've run into anybody that is um, as rare... Oh, a stealth cat. Um, is as rare as a uh, wild tusk over here. So, I found this guy, Scalehide. They, uh, they do seem to be pretty decent tanks. I think this was actually a rare, um, also. So they have Scale Shield. The Scale Hide hardens its skin. Reducing damage taken by 50% for 12 seconds. Minute cooldown. It's got dash. Growl. And if you compare... So, let's compare this to a turtle. See if this is a good tanking pet. Damage by 50% for 12 seconds. And it is a 1 minute cooldown. And of course we know turtles have that uh, shell shield. So they give you Terrapine here in the beta. And uh, Shell Shield, 1 minute cooldown, 50%, 12 seconds. So it is pretty much the exact same thing. Um, I have it hot barred, but I do not have it automatically casting. That's why I just use it when we need it. I think my... Bird of Prey over here might be an interesting pet. I think this is an Axe Beak. If I remember correctly. I forget exactly where I found this guy, but he is a little bit rare. Uh, let's see what he has. Pathfinding, you and your pet gain 8% increased movement speed. So, kind of a fun guy for questing and getting around. Claw. Causes damage. Costs 100% more focus when your pet has 50% or more focus. Trick. That's nothing new. Talonrend. Uh, reducing movement speed. It's also pretty good. Growl, you know, standard, dash, standard. So that is pretty much it for this video over here. I just wanted to show off Wild Tusk. Um, I think he, I mean, he is pretty common. He's up all the time. You saw the respawn timer. And there goes the rubber banding again. Um, however, uh, as, as common as he is to be up, it is interesting in the fact that he is the only one so far that I've seen that looks like that with the spears in his hide and you know he's actually a mob or just a regular creature out there that has a little bit of a uh, decent backstory to them so 
if I come across any more interesting tames with unique skins and everything, I will definitely put some videos up on it, as it's always been one of my more favorite things in WoW is special tames. Uh, I will say Legion was definitely a sad expansion for me because my flaming boar called Pig Knight unfortunately lost his flame uh, in this expansion. I don't think it was in 2018. I think it was back in 2017. It, um, that's interesting armor on this bear. I've never seen a bear with shoulder armor like that. This drew- oh, it's troll. Hmm. Yeah, don't think I've seen that. Um, so this is the 5 million gold mount that's here ahead of me. It's the Brutosaur. It has a... well, maybe not. I'm not seeing vendors on this guy. Here's the vendors. So it has an auctioneer. And it has a repair dude. So yeah, my uh, my pig knight was a flaming pig that I've had for a very very long time. Um, it was a quest called "Feed the Boars" or "Feeding Evil" or something, and it was in Mulgor. Um, I had my girlfriend, who was a boomkin, assist in that quest. So it was a very meaningful uh, pet to me. You threw torches in cauldrons, and um, the pigs would eat from the cauldrons and go on fire and if you tame them quickly enough just as they were dying from the fire you would be able to put them away and summon them back on fire and pig knight was a a, a very show-off pet for me for many years and uh he lost his flame in legion sadly i believe i don't think he died but might have gotten flagged in the, the strand where you do the murlocs and the nagas and you like pick up the eggs and you run them back to that central location and you're flagged the whole way and everybody can fight you. I think maybe when I was done with that quest I hurt back to Dalaran and yeah that was it. He lost his flames. Sadly now he's just a typical razor friend crawl looking boar. Really sad. One of my more unique pets that I've had for many, many years and treated very, very carefully. So, there you go, guys. There is Wild Tusk over here in Battle for Azeroth. Again, if you need to know where you can get him, just go to the Scale Trader Post, fall off the cliffs to the west, and then he's right here in an area called the Tusk Pools. See you, everybody.